the simple fact that we have health as a concept on this planet tells us right. that we've gone wrong somewhere that right. there is a state of intactness that occurs somewhere in our creation mm -hmm. and that that's a very interesting thing if you really understand how we're created and why we were created then you understand that that should never be the case and it's actually not that hard to get it to not be the case i haven't been sick in over eight years you don't really need to be sick it's easy to not be sick it's actually harder to get sick that's the part that blows my mind so we have this thing where our bodies have to level up, but they only need the resources. So if we have the right resources and we have the right relationship with our body, we can pretty much go through anything, literally anything. I have a, a friend of mine who got majorly trashed. Like she got her arm broken, her shoulder broken, both of her hips broken, her leg broken and everything. And after a few weeks, she's up and around and walking again. Now that shouldn't be possible according to science but according to what can happen it, it is possible and the reason it's possible is because she is her, her her own light a concept that we've forgotten is bio light storage and that's something that's really important that the bed really works with and, and the idea of it is to cultivate that space again because our bodies are like a phone that is not charged it's got to be plugged in and so we find ways to plug it in and what that means is a lot of people go to substances to plug it in that's what we like it's like supercharging your system but then it wears down the battery even more so that it doesn't hold a charge as well in the future because now you've you've torn holes in your system right and then you've got your other opportunities out there like drugs alcohol sex all the things that give you dopamine releases which are like a quick charge but you also have this thing that, that people just forget exists, right? And that's peace. When you're in peace, you actually naturally charge. But because the environment that we live in currently has so much fear, so many things to take you out of peace, the average person goes, oh, well, you have fear and you are the majority. So here's my peace. And I'll, I guess I'll take the fear on. And it's like, wait, wait, why? You were, you were at peace. And then you got information which is just information, and you immediately switch from peace to fear. What changed in your world? Oh, nothing changed in my world. So nothing changed in your world, and now you're not at peace anymore. Okay, I'm gonna have to sit and watch this for a while, see how this unfolds, really understand like the energies of why this is. And after a really long time, what I learned is our bodies, because of the way that we're raised, because of the way that we're conditioned, and the way that we're away from the forest, we don't actually learn to naturally charge. And so what happens is we are a battery that's perpetually low. And this is called voltage. And there's a really, really powerful way to look at the world is through this voltage perspective. Because when you're at 50 watts or higher, you actually can't get sick, really. And when you get into like that, that 70 watt higher point, then like you're pretty much in enlightenment. The problem is maintaining it. So a lot of people take drugs and other things, as I said, but that actually destroys the vessel, which actually weakens the body. So the more substances that you're piling into your body from a chemical perspective, all you're doing is you're confusing your body more. You, the spiritual being, get to have this experience and your body pays the consequence. One thing that changed everything for me when I was younger was I realized that there's a difference between if something's good for my body and if it's good for my frequency. And when I began to really ask those hard questions, okay, is this good for my body? Okay, cool. Is this good for my frequency? No. All right, awesome. Is this good for my frequency? Yeah. Is this good for my body? No. Because almost nothing on this planet, and this is really weird, but almost nothing on this planet that you don't alchemize yourself is good for your body and your frequency. One or the other, almost always. And so you're always playing at this war. It's like, okay, well, my frequency is more important than my body. No, I mean, your body is just as important as your frequency. Believe it or not, we are very important together. So to make one go higher than the other is to create an extreme that must be rebalanced by the universe. And so you get these really, really fun experiences in life that um, humble you, as people say. And, and that experience isn't fun for anyone. No one really enjoys those experiences. They're like, yeah, I'm super high. Oh, wait, why am I in jail right now? Oh, because I did drugs illegally in this place. Yeah, that wasn't great. Right, like this whole process of, of being rebalanced by the universe, it always happens because you have to be at the right levels. And that's where meditation is. 
when you are actually at the right octave, which uh, for whatever reason, science has shown that between 50 and 75 watts, those people are in natural states of meditation. So why is it that we're not in natural states of meditation? Mostly because we don't have hundreds of days to sit in a forest. 